know what? When you want someone to pray for you, have a pastor pray for you. Because people always offer all over the world. Like they offer. This guy, I think he was an 80s DJ. He's praying for me. And you can't say anything when they start praying. Like, Lord, how sweet it is to be loved by you. <laughs> Lord, be with Nazareth. Every step he makes, every move he takes. <laughs> be with him, Lord. Be the wind beneath his wings. Be the hero that comes along. When he's sitting on the dock of the bay, we with him, Lord. And if you ever have the chills or the night fever, night fever, let him know he will survive. And Lord, if Kiki doesn't love him, you still love him. And if Satan ever comes his way, let him beat it. Just beat it. <laughs> In Jesus' name. <laughs> But my name is Nazareth. I'm from the land of milk and honey, the holy land. But I'm lactose intolerant, yes. I moved here 35 years ago. I love this country. This is how much I love this country, people. When I lived in Kuwait, I was the George Clooney of Kuwait. I was tall. I was handsome. And then I came here. Everybody is tall and handsome. You guys ruined it for me. I feel short and ugly. And my friends go, Nazareth, you can't say ugly. We're all created in the image of God. I go, yeah, but sin entered the world. <laughs> and it hit some people harder than others. <laughs> It's Saturday, May 21st, 2022, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church right here in the heart of beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here. Hey, look, Bugsy's back. <laughs> Dealing with just a little bit of roast beef hangover on a Saturday morning, and I hope your day is going well. We're going to read again this morning from the book, Truth for Life. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg, copyright 2021, Good Book Company. John chapter 3, verse 5. Truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. When we read the Gospels, we discover that a large part of Jesus' ministry involved preaching the good news of God's kingdom. He traveled through towns and villages telling people, essentially, there is a kingdom and I'm the king. You're not in the kingdom yet, but if you follow me, you will be the king's subject and a citizen of the kingdom. When you and I pray your kingdom come in the Lord's prayer, our desire should be that men and women and boys and girls would be brought into Christ's kingdom by new birth that they would become committed followers of Jesus. We pray for those who live in rebellion against God to be delivered from the domain of darkness and transferred to the kingdom of his beloved son, as Paul wrote in Colossians 1.13. Jesus made it clear that the only way to enter into the kingdom is by this new birth. Jesus' encounter with Nicodemus in John 3 underscores this truth. Nicodemus was a religious man, a man of authority and influence, and yet he was still restless, still seeking. As he engaged Jesus in conversation, Jesus pointed out the necessary prerequisite for both seeing and entering his kingdom, to be born again by the Spirit. This new birth is brought about, he said, not by nature, but as a result of God's Spirit working a miracle in the human heart. No one is able to enter the kingdom without Him working in them. No one is too far away from the kingdom for Him to work in them. When we pray for God's kingdom to come, we are asking for eyes to be opened and ears to be unstopped 
so that men and women and boys and girls may be born again. The King is coming to usher in His everlasting kingdom, and the King is at work today by His Spirit to bring people into that kingdom. Until the day of our King's return, may our awareness of the way people enter Christ's kingdom produce increasing wonder over our own conversion and a burning passion to pray that the Spirit would do what only He can do in the hearts of those who are not yet saved. For further information on this subject, check out John chapter 3, verses 1 through 15. Now, Father, we are grateful for the Saturday that you've given us, a day of rest, a day of recreation, a day, hopefully, when we can spend some time with you, Lord. Bless us, O oh Lord, we pray, and help us to serve you well. Help us, Lord, to treat others with respect, to be humble and be kind, and guide our steps, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Saturday edition of Cafe Devo. Before I go, I want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church gathers for worship tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We're looking forward to a time of worshiping together. We will also be honoring the graduates of uh, high school and university this year. And so we invite you to come join us as we honor them during the worship celebration and then have a cake reception to follow. Hopefully you can join us for that just can't join us in person connect with us through the live stream right here on facebook we invite you to do that about 10 a.m tomorrow morning as well either way tomorrow is the lord's day be sure to spend it worshiping him for now i'm pastor steve wood signing off i love you guys god bless you all and i'll see you tomorrow